Okay everybody, so welcome to part two of the Dart build. I have soldered up the GPS and tested it and it does work. It's sending messages, find enough sets to find where I am, hence the fact that I'm not going to show you <laughs> where I live, um, like literally to the coordinates. Um, I decided not to solder up these two wires which would have been for the um, for the calibration, uh, the, accelero uh, the, the, the the compass. Um, because um, I was getting fed up with soldering basically, I'm not going to use them, but um, yeah. It's positive that it works. This camera's just better without the battery. So I'm actually going to uh, find the charger of it, wherever that could be, and try and charge batteries. But um, yeah, all for now. Okay, so a mixed bag of work for this evening. So I've spent a lot of time programming the modes in both the Tyrannus and in the plane. First time I've ever done them so I've probably not done it the best way but it's just the way that was easiest for me. New, fairly new to Tyrannuses but you know. Altitude hold. Altitude off. Attitude mode. Rate mode active. Manual mode. Cruise mode. Return to launch. FPV. Activated. FPV. Deactivated. That's for the on-screen display. Nothing on that. And Engine disabled. Engines armed. But we have a small problem when I try to fire up the FPV equipment, as you can see I've had to take the board out. Uh, There's a small problem, and um, we'll look at this section of wiring here. So, obviously the idea is that the balance lead goes into here, the red goes in and it just goes straight off to the camera, straight off to the video transmitter. Got signal in here, that's no problem, that goes in and out of the board. Um, now, you do need a common ground, so you've also got the black uh, for the camera transmitter also going in here. The trouble is, is that none of those black leads are coming back to here. So you go, you know, back to the battery and complete the circuit. So that's why none of my stuff's working. Um, so, I mean, I've got two options at this point of what to do. I can either um, chop off the black wire from here and sort of feed it onto one of the black tabs on the board. And that will complete the circuit. Uh, which is the way that if I was wanting to get this flying for tomorrow is what I would do. Um, but because that's not the case, and I'm going to actually leave it for tonight and have a look at my some more energy because I've been on the flight modes for many hours. Um, I may do a whole new loom. Still based off of the Wiley probably because I can't be asked to do all the soldering of those many bits together. Um, but instead of cutting off both the signal and the black here, I'll probably still cut off the signal here. But the red and the black will go out to both bits, and then just on one of them, um, I'll cut the black like in half here, and then extend it um, through the um, in and out of the uh, ground here. So I'm not sure which I'm going to do as of yet, but we'll see, and we will do. Um, but for tonight, I'm going to leave it and see what happens. But um, there shouldn't be the end of the video because it'll only be like three minutes long, but. Okay, so it is the next day, um, and absolute developments have happened annoyingly. I had already taken the board out and pre-butchered a second lead, which I'll just keep around. If this all goes well, I'm definitely going to get another set of this, so I'll probably wire it up that way instead of this way. Um, the trouble is yesterday, because I was lazy and didn't want to go and get actual batteries, I was using these off the charge power, which is a 3S, just because of the 3.5mm connectors, and then for the... Balance plugs I needed for us. I was using this. Now, the trouble is because I was using two separate batteries, there was no ground. But actually, as you can see now, I'm using the actual battery I'm going to use in the plane. Hopefully, well, it's only going to be 4S. Hopefully, these are big enough to have enough nose weight. Never mind. Um, you can see FPV gear is now getting power and quite warm power at that. Um, so, the issue was is because um, by the way, this was set up, you get common ground all over the board, so the ground is now actually passing through the main power wire instead of through the small wire that's not connected to anything. Um, so that actually works okay, so I don't need to do any soldering, I've just turned the soldering iron off, I was going to re-solder this lot onto it, um, but yes, as I say, I'll keep that in the box for um, another project. Um, so yes, this works, um, it's just you have to have both plugged in for FPV to work. Which you're going to probably have anyway, but anyway. So yeah, um, I didn't make a mistake in my wiring, I made a mistake in the battery I was using. But um, yeah, so I can now try and load this all back into the plane again. And uh, test the FPV gear properly. So yes, this is me 
officially giving up on this board. Can't get the video to work. So I've ordered a new board, the F405. Um, got it from Hobby RC. Can get it slightly cheaper than but I want it quick. Um, so yeah, we'll set that up and we'll continue with that. Okay, so this is the board what I got. Now as you can see, there's a small problem in the fact that there's loads of pins that need soldering, but luckily they've come in the box, both the sort of white, the red and the black, um, as well as two spare screws. Um, so, what we're going to do is we need to remove the screws to take this apart and start soldering. I have my soldering station switched on over there ready for getting this sorted. Um, now this, compared to say the F4 board I was going to put in originally, as you can tell it's sort of a bit wide but not that much, so it's still going to fit fine in the machine. Um, so yeah, and I've actually brought my little uh, gorilla pod, so hopefully we can get some sort of time lapse soldering type thing possibly if I can work it out, but yeah, let's start soldering the beast that is the F405 wing. Inside my head there's a little place left for you What do you know? What do you know? And all I want is to find out what you're going through What do I know? Okay, so that is all the soldering done. Hey presto. 
Okay, so as you can see, I've sold on the cables there and put the board completely back together. I've also started working on the cabling inside here. Um, so obviously normal servos have the normal configuration, but then something like the camera, because of the way the pins are set out, actually has the black in the middle. So if you accidentally plug, say, a servo into uh, transmitter out for um, you know video transmitter, does mean that um, you will have fire. Well, at least smoke and burnt out items. So make sure you're uh, plugging things with the right things, because uh, everything's going to be based off the servo connectors with this. Um, but uh, yeah, also I don't technically need a back, but I can't be bothered to remove it, so it's going to stay there for no real reason. Because um, I could solder up another speaker controller, but I don't have any that are that small and that high amperage. The only one I've got that size is a 12 amp, not a 30 amp, so meh. Um, so yeah, um, what I'm about to do is actually the resoldering of connector on here because I'm not using that board anymore. I need to take the connector off and put on two of these leads. Um, one's going to be for just power and negative, and then the other one's going to be for receive and transmit um, because of the way that this system works. Um, so yeah, another one where you don't want to get the wrong way around for power. But you can get it the wrong way around for um, the transmitter and receiving bit because if that doesn't work, then you just spin it around the other way. It doesn't really matter, um, and you can easily see it now if it's working or not. But um, yeah, it is going to be a bit harder to get this in compared to the other board, but at least this board works, which is better than nothing. But um, yeah, well, I'm a it yeah, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> 